I've been trying to find my niche, trying to figure out what I'm good at. I don't know, maybe you're in the same boat as me. Uh, so this week I decided I'd try some ring pours. I invite you to join me down on the canvas. My name is Tiffany Remind, welcome to my channel. Okay, great. I'm glad you decided to join me here down on the canvas. So let's get started. First off, this is a 50 centimeter by 50 centimeter square uh, gallery wrapped, uh, what is it, four millimeter deep canvas. So let's just get started from here. Uh, we'll go through, oh, first off, you know what? Let me show you uh, the Windsor Newton iridescent medium. I mix this with some of the paints. You'll remember with the uh, Prussian blue, phthalo blue, phthalo green. I mix this in here and it actually really thickens it up because I'm going from a Dutch pour to a ring pour, which is a lot thicker consistency. So let me just show you what that looks like. So here you go. It's really, really thick, almost like paste. Yeah, it's crazy, right? I would have never guessed it would be like that. I just thought it was like the same consistency of acrylic paint, but it's not. And you need a lot more of this than you'd ever think, like almost like 50% acrylic paint, 50% of the iridescent, so that at least when it dries, it has a little bit of shimmer, but trust me, it doesn't give you as much of a bang for your buck as you would hope to. But you know what, it is what it is. Now let's go through technique. I'm gonna put a base pillow down, I guess you'd call it, and then I'm going to pour out my ring, and then stretch it. I'm gonna use this measuring cup. I don't know if I'm gonna spin it or flop it. I don't know, I'm just kinda of going by the seat of my pants here. But let's start with colors. So first off, obviously this is the Oxide Black by Amsterdam Acrylics. Again, my paints are all just mixed with water. <laughs> I haven't gone down the rabbit hole of pouring mediums just yet. I'm getting close to getting to that point, but I'm really not there. And this consistency is like whatever they call it, mound on a mound, it's a lot thicker than a Dutch pour. Uh, so I used to thicken up my paint. I just added more acrylic paint to the ones that were too thin. And then in some of them where I wanted the shimmer, I added that iridescent medium. This is just uh, Amsterdam white mixed with uh, the iridescent pearl white uh, to make that color. And this one is the bronze mixed with the Van Dyke brown. Again, you can see a much thicker consistency than I'm used to. And this one here is just uh, light gold and dark gold actually mixed together. I ran out of the light gold, so I threw in some dark gold. Uh, by again, Amsterdam Acrylics uh, Metallics. And this one here is my Prussian Blue, Phthalo Blue, Phthalo Green, uh, mixed with that iridescent uh, medium. I guess that iridescent medium is really handy, at least for thickening up paints when you're going from like a backwards, like from a Dutch pour to a ring pour, some other style that requires a thicker paint. This is that uh, phthalo blue mixed with that permanent red violet to make like an indigo color. It's kind of pretty. And this one is like a pumpkin spice latte, I call it, which is uh, the orange uh, mixed with yellow and a little bit of uh, gold and Van Dyke brown. I don't know what made me come up with this. It's kind of similar to the color I had on the previous pour that I ran out of, but as you can see, there's lots of orange around the cup. So hopefully this one's okay, but you know what? You're gonna find out that I'm gonna tilt most of this off anyway. You're not even gonna see that color. Okay, now let's talk about the crazy amount of paint I'm gonna need. So according to a paint calculator, I'm gonna need uh, what is it, 500, just over 500 milliliters of paint to cover this whole canvas. What I'm confused about though is, you know, in order to go around the sides and everything, that's what the paint calculator has you put in, um, that's how you come up with the 500 milliliters. It's a crazy amount of paint. Uh, and I don't know, like, is that all the stuff that's in the layered cup? Is it include the pillow base? Uh, is that extra? I, I'm not sure. So we're just going to go with it. Again, fly by the seat of our pants. I'm going to fill up the cup and I'm going to put a pillow down and some ring around it and I don't know, go from there and start tilting this thing and see what actually happened. I'm like, how do you layer a cup for a ring pour? Like do you pour it, I don't, I don't know, like do you put it on this side and pour it out? I, I have no idea. Okay, I've organized my colors in the order that I wanna put them into my pouring cup here. So we're gonna start with black because again, remember, first one in is last one out. It's like inventory. So I'd like a black center. I don't know why I'd like some negative space in the middle of the painting. I don't know if that's actually gonna work out, but we're gonna give it a shot. Um, and then next I'm going to put in some white against the black. I don't know if that's a good idea. And again, I don't know if I should be pouring the paint in against the spout or should I be pouring it on the other side? Again, I'm slightly confused about this whole process. Now I'm dripping all over the canvas. Yeah, good one, Tiffany, good one. Uh, now we're gonna go with that uh, Prussian blue, phthalo blue, phthalo green mixture. 
and then some gold. Yeah, and I don't I don't pour against the spell because look what happens. It just gets all over the canvas. That was a dumb idea, but now I'm kind of stuck with it. I gotta, gotta go this way. Doesn't matter. I guess I'm gonna put a pillow down. Now I'm gonna go with that. Um, what was that again? Oh, the violet and blue to make that indigo color. And then some of that copper with Van Dyke brown. And then mm, more white. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna go with a little bit of white, I guess, just to, I don't know, maybe not. That's a bad idea. Let's go with the pumpkin spice stuff. Mm. I, again, I don't know if this is the right way to layer a cup. I don't know what's really going to happen, to be perfectly honest with you. And then I guess in between the layers, before I start over, should I put another color in there? I, mm, okay, well, we're just gonna go with the black. So again, I think we're gonna do like three layers of this entire uh, process of layering, three or four anyway. So I'm just now gonna speed up the video so to not bore you while I, until we get ready to dump it on the canvas. And as you watch me layer this cup, I'm just gonna kind of give you an overview of what you're about to see. So I'm gonna choose a ring pour. I'm gonna ring it out. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Pour it out on the canvas. I'm gonna tilt it around. You're gonna see some of the corners I don't really like. I don't like the fact that I don't have enough negative space. So I'm gonna pour some black on the corners and create some additional negative space. And yeah, it's my very first technically ring pour. And I learned a few things from this ring pour. Uh, the vibrant, the colors weren't vibrant enough uh, to really carry when I, especially when I tilted all the blue off. Um, you know what, I'm hoping that once I varnish it or resin, I think I'm gonna varnish it because it is on just a canvas, not on a wooden cradle, uh, that it will bring some of that vibrancy back. But still, for a first shot, it wasn't so bad. It, again, if you find my content um, you know, informative or just entertaining, <laughs> please hit the like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so that you know um, when I post a new video. And if there's anything that you'd like to share with regards to what you see in this video, I'd love some comments. Um, it helps me grow and understand you know, what I could do differently etc and then at the end also i'm going to show you i did six mini ring pours all using the same color palette as this one uh, i layered the cup possibly a little bit different and i just wanted to kind of stretch the middle and see what would happen and i called it creation because it reminds me of, like the birth of the solar system it was kind of interesting when i first poured the first couple of course i didn't record hardly any of it um, and then started to stretch the middle. It was like a progression of the stretch of the middle of the canvas. It's, I, I think it's pretty cool. Unfortunately, the middle one, it was a reused canvas that it didn't sand down or gesso and it kind of cracked when it dried, which is uh, kind of depressing, but I'm gonna try it again because I like the concept of like a series of paintings that kind of all cohesively go together. So anyway, I'm gonna shut up um, <laughs> and let you listen to the music. But you know, I just wanna say a quick thanks for being here and uh, watching me on my fluid painting journey. Ciao for now. We, we watch the sun go down over the same old town Like so many times before we Look at the same old stars, battle the same old wars Like so many times before And I know that we're not perfect But I'm gonna miss all that we had Yeah, I know that we're not perfect But I need this night for the last time
know. Then what? I'm gonna fear. Oh, McDonald had <laughs> Henry. E I E I O. You don't like my singing? <laughs> no. Just like my singing. Annoying, cute Henry. My dog is underneath me, wanting my attention, and I'm trying to shut him up by letting him bite my fingers. You like the smell of my ears? Or is it because I'm clean and I showered before I made this video? <laughs> yeah, no, I kicked him out of the room. Where was I going with this? <laughs>